One thing that I think is beautiful about our technology, it doesn't matter if you are tall, short, disabled, for instance. It doesn't matter if you cannot walk, you can fly anyway with our suits. One unofficial motto of our company is have fun, look good, and don't kill anyone. So let's just do that. December 17, 1903, Wilbur and Aubrey Wright flew for 12 seconds on the first aircraft ever made, changing completely the meaning of transportation as we know it. Today we have 100,000 flights per day. I decided to go found XOLR because only thinking about flying, it literally makes me want to do more. The beginning of something could be really simple, sometimes you can call it impulsive. I saw a video on YouTube. Richard Browning brought jetpacks into public's eyes, right? He's flying with his two arms strapped to jet engines and one in the back. Jetpacks are real now and people are flying around. And there's so much potential for the combination of hardware and software together to make flying an easy thing to do. Not just for trained pilots, but for everybody else. Everyone relies on your upper body strength and your ability to keep in balance in the air. Most of the time, you cannot even scratch your nose and you might even have an accident. We want to create something that is safe and fully autonomous using hardware and software instead of relying on your abilities. Building an exoskeleton allows you to fly without feeling the acceleration, without feeling the weight and the power of the engine on your own body. And that will make the technology safe and also fully autonomous. We want to make personal air mobility accessible to a point where to each and every individual we fundamentally redefine the way we think, move, design and build. That's the big picture of the company right now. So when we started working together, we wanted to release the pilot from the effort of keeping balancing the air and put the effort completely on hardware and software. We stumbled upon the thrust vectoring. Similar to how SpaceX lands rockets and certain drones to fly without tilting their body, we do that for the personal air mobility system that we're building. Essentially, you can move around in the suit and the nozzle, based on the sensor input, adjusts their orientation and it shoots the thrust in a certain direction calculated by the computer so that it keeps you balanced in the air. An easy way to think about it is like a Segway in the air. You know, on a Segway, when you want to move forward, you lean forward and the wheels start spinning so that you don't fall. And by balancing of mechanical forces, everything starts moving forward. It's exactly the same thing, but in mid-air with turbojet engines. So you lean forward and the nozzles of the engine or the engine themselves turn to push you back. And by balancing of mechanical forces, everything starts flying forward. This is a, a exhibition prototype that we're doing. And this is basically the first time we ever show uh, the product. And we went from uh, prototype and concepts, and now finally we are showcasing to the entire world out what our product will look like. We do everything in-house. The design is all ours. All the software, every single line of code, it's ours. It can take a little bit longer time to get to the first functioning prototype, but the payoff, it's huge because you know everything about every single millimeter of the suit and on the code as well. And also it's a lot more fun. It's like a Iron Man Mark 46 or something, Iron Man 3, and it just, everything comes together. Oh, look at that. Uh, we met on LinkedIn, actually. His LinkedIn subtitle is to say, I'm building a jet suit. He already founded XOLAR the year before, so I contacted him and then I took a flight to New York. I saw in his eyes that he's, he's really into this. Like, he's also as crazy as uh, yeah. I was of course. <laughs> at the time. So like, we identified on that. Yeah, I fell in love with the idea of building a company together. It's my favorite question to ask co-founders. What is your favorite and least favorite thing about working together? Oh, <laughs> oh I got it. Do you have two hours? No, sorry. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things about how is that he's a doer. It literally does things. And I was inspired by it because I always overthink a lot on the engineering stuff. That's what inspired me at in the beginning. Uh, my least favorite thing? Man, you forget so many things. So. <laughs> if anybody is building like a life organization thing, I know there's notion and reminders. Somebody fixed my uh, task management. He say things straight to me. 
whether I like it or not. Many times it irritates me a lot, but like we, we've been around each other for so long, you know, like we, we know how each other is going to react and he knows that too, but he still does it for the, for the good of the company. And that, that is the, I think the core thing you look for in a, in a co-founder, right? He, like we, we just want the company to work. One great obstacle is regulations. We have a strategy leading us to a future where we're going to see people fly everywhere. But for now, we're going to stick with entertainment. In two years time, we are opening an entertainment facility in Dubai so that you can come to one of our places, hop in a jet suit and fly fully autonomously for two kilometers. The reason we're doing it is so that we can get the revenue in the door and gain public trust. That's why we are starting in a safe and controlled environment where we are either fly over water for fun or we fly tethered over land so as to create this market of controlled space where people can experience flight. There are so many new possibilities for using our technology. One, for instance, the military, especially in the United States, are interested in using our technology for first response applications. Every year, hundreds of people die in disaster zones because they cannot receive medical attention on time. There are places where helicopters will never be able to land or take off, like for instance, in mountain rescue or in fire situations. In those specific situations, first responders in jet suit can literally save hundreds of lives per year. Instead of why did I start a company, the question I ask myself is why do you continue working at the company? And right now it's because like the entire team of the XLR would believe in this grandiose vision of we'll see people fly in the future. That's just like, we find that amazing. There is so much better that comes from building sci-fi things. There are so many people that literally started mechanical engineering after watching the Iron Man movies. Now imagine what future generation could do if they look outside their windows and start seeing people fly. They would choose a path of progress and not a path of conflict. I love working on deep technology. It's fun, like honestly, I think just this morning I have uh, the greatest job in the world because I get to meet so many people who get to do things I want to do. Being an immigrant, uh, seeing like how much opportunity there could be, not just this country, but like as I get closer to the startup community, so much possibility of it just makes me happy that I'm a part of it. In the world around us, there's so many things that can be solved, but no one does anything about it. So one day I was thinking about XLR. They noticed that no one was doing anything to move forward. And I couldn't sleep, literally. So I decided against all the odds to just do it. Literally challenge anyone that tells you not to do it and just go for it. Because the journey is truly beautiful and powerful. Thanks for watching episode 22 of S3. I'll share my thoughts on the company in just a second, but first, you know, the ambiance, I just wanted to say, I hope you have a Merry Mercury sponsorship. This episode of S3 is sponsored by none other than Mercury. If you are a startup or a business owner and looking for a better way to manage your money, you should be using Mercury. Mercury has great tools to efficiently manage, store, and move your funds around officially so you can focus on building a great company. You can apply online in just 10 minutes. It's a fantastic and fast onboarding process, and you never have to talk to a human. You can just do it all online and get to work. You get up to $5 million in FDIC assurance, physical debit cards, and virtual debit cards, which just look like really nice. And you can use to buy your employees all sorts of nice Christmas gifts. But you wouldn't do that because you're a founder focused on the bottom line. <laughs> so if you're a founder looking for a better way to manage your finances, you should be using Mercury. As I said, I use it myself and I highly recommend it. Okay, thoughts on the company in this episode. Exovolar is just cool. It's like one of those companies you just hear the pitch of and you're like, yeah, I'm interested. It's freaking jet turbine jet engines strapped to my body. It like controls it all for you theoretically. If they can build out this platform that can strap to you and can just fly you vertically so you can do stuff with your hands, you know, text and jetpack, it'd be a really cool thing. I think Exovolar is exciting because it gives humans a third dimension to play with, which is awesome. And I also think it's just great from a recreation and entertainment point of view. It was just so fun filming with these guys. Two co-founders met each other who were interested in building jetpacks. Now they're building this company together. All right, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching. And until next week, keep on building the future.